ISS Vanguard was led into a deadly trap by the Arrogators. Will we make it out? Will we survive? How many crew will we lose? We're going to find out in this episode of ISS Vanguard campaign. Uh, I've set up the the planet board, planet board since it's the ISS Vanguard. Uh, we've got Arrogator Assault. We are trapped on the bridge right now. Um, I'm using my absolute best characters and I'm playing four deep this time. I usually only play with two, but um, I think that we need to go as hard as we can and try to get this done. There's so much playing space right now that I'm gonna try to work the camera where you guys can follow along. I've upped the quality to 4K and so I can I should be able to zoom in a little bit more and uh, have a little bit more control over what you guys see. But hopefully, hopefully you can catch the, the whole play. Um, but with that, uh, let's dive in. Um, there's no intro log or anything. We're just on the, on the damaged bridge. Uh, let's see. Uh, the crew of the ISS Vanguard scramble to their battle stations as alien forces assault their home. From officers and specialists to maintenance staff, everyone is ready to do their part as there's no place to retreat. Um, and we also have any of our uh, other crew members are put on the bottom of the board. You're supposed to turn them this way, but I just don't have room, so I'm placing them here. And I think they're going to be able to be used. And they said that even uh, they might die as well. So this <laughs> this sounds really sketchy. Um, but we're on the damage bridge. The bridge suffered heavy damage from one of the first blasts, cutting it off and knocking out several key systems. So it uh, looks like we need to have four blue dice uh, to, or... A wrench and a computer to go to log 188 but we can't leave right now um, we've got uh, two markers on the enemy advantage if we get 10 or more then uh, we <clears throat> then we uh, then something bad happens so we're going to try to keep this enemy advantage down there's a couple ways we can do that it looks like uh, it says remove one marker from the uh, enemy advantage slot so we can reduce the enemy advantage by this. There might be some other ways to do it, it looks like. Um, but we've got sudden tremors for our uh, for our global conditions. So it says, whenever you rest or exert, refresh one dice fewer. Um, we have to use a red or a blue to travel. Uh, and then we also, when the time track advances, uh, we can add one marker to the enemy advantage slot and discard this condition. Also, uh, somebody pointed out that there are to actual time tokens that we can use rather than these, these purple tokens. So I'm going to try to use those uh, from now on. And I don't know why I didn't use that for, for these, but let me do that real quick. Okay, yeah, and then the rule said to put the time token on the first slot for both of these. Um, so it looks like this might be, we might have to try to get those first. So it looks like this is the, I believe this is the med bay. Um, this is the armory, I believe. Yep. And then I'm, I don't know what this is, but uh, it looks like it might be important. So um, I don't know exactly the plan right now because it looks like we have to fix the bridge, get out of it somehow, go here, here, and then we can decide where to go. So, and then there's also this this slot here that you can't get to. So I don't know what's going to be involved with that. But uh, I'm super excited. This is kind of a switch up of the exploration, uh, which is awesome. Uh, we've got Betty, Amir, Narciss, and Samarth out, and uh, and I've got I've got all their cards drawn. We're ready to go. I think we're going to start with Betty um, because uh, she has four blue that we can run right now. Um, but I'm wondering if maybe we should have somebody help. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to have we're going to roll these two and this from Betty and then Amir is going to assist with his one computer. Um, oh, but if we get an exclamation mark or, oh, we need, we need exactly that. Oh, geez. Um, okay, well we have focus. And it says, uh, during the dice check, move two from the roll pool to the owner's spent pool to turn one other die to the Vanguard results. So if we get, if we roll all these and we get one of them, we can get, we can move others, the other two, 
and get rid of uh, the exclamation mark or the standard success and turns it to a Vanguard. So all we have to do is get one wrench or one computer. So I think, I think we're okay. So let's roll this first. Uh-oh, there's a success, regular success. Okay, all right, so then, so what we can do is we can use this. During the dice check, uh, it's called focus. Move two dice from the roll pool to the owner's spent pool. So we're gonna use these two to turn one other die result to Vanguard. So we're gonna move that to Vanguard, then we're gonna spend both of those and make it a wrench in a computer. Okay, wow, that was barely mitigated. Um, okay, that was her first turn, first action. Uh, and then we're gonna go to log 188. This is tense. That should do it. Situation console working. All comms operational. Good job, Alpha Team. We can now coordinate the defense throughout the ship. Now get out there and show these attackers what the people of Earth are made of. Hell yeah, let's do it. All right, proceed. Replace the card in your sector with P230. Okay. We get Vanguard Bridge. The co-captain and Exo have trouble staying on top of the situation. So yeah, there's nothing, nothing else to do here. Perfect. Okay, uh, so that was her first action. Her second action, oh, hold on. Uh, this is a special action printed in the enemy advantage slot available in multiple places on the planet board that can be used to reduce the enemy advantage through using it may cost the lives of your crew members. Letting enemies over on Vanguard will be even more costly. Oh, jeez. Okay. All right, second action, I think uh, Betty is going to dive in. So she moves, so she spends one dice. So we're gonna spend the screen die. And we're gonna go log 402. That'll be her second action. We're now reaching the main concourse. I see a lot of fire and smoke. Several missiles have hit the hull near the nose of the ship. The automated systems are working at peak capacity to contain the damage. There's a full-blown panic here. The crew is running around like headless chickens. I see no officer in charge. Should we intervene? This is the main route to the bridge. It would be good to organize a defensive perimeter. Definitely. It's your call, Fire Team Alpha. Remember, your prime directive is to beat back the enemy assaults. If you try doing everything yourself, you may run out of time. In this mission, you will often stumble into critical situations on ISS Vanguard. You will be given a choice to either solve the crisis yourself, assign some of your available crew to do it, or ignore the crisis and ask the bridge crew to deal with it. Oof. Okay. That's interesting. All right, well, let's, let's see what, what choices we have. Every task you agree to perform yourself will set up a new POI card representing the situation somewhere on the board. If you do not attend to the situation, it will be, it will deteriorate. Trying too many things at once will cause you to fail at your main objective with severe consequences for your campaign. Oh man, okay. Every time you assign a crew member to solve a crisis, they may die. Depending on the situation, crew member ranks, section, or even a converter symbol on the crew member cards will determine whether all assigned crew members live or die as a group. In general, the more and more experienced crew members you assign, the safer they are. Oh man, uh, that's fantastic. All players discuss choose and choose one. If you cannot agree, the security section player makes the choice. Stop the panic and build the defense yourself. Order your crew to Stop and stop the panic and build the defenses requires at least one available crew member card. Ignore the panic and let someone else handle the situation. Um, I wonder if we should assign a security person. Um, we don't have any rank two security people though. All right, I think I'm gonna go with my gut. I think I'm gonna assign Riku and uh, order your crew to stop the panic and build the defenses. 
Choose any number of available crew members from your section and other sections if players agree. Those crew members may die fulfilling your orders. Oh no. Oh, I, I, I don't know what to expect. This is really tense. Like, this is really tense. We've got a whole ship. We're on our very first section. And, yeah, like, I... I, like, I don't feel like we have enough people. But this seems really important. I'm going to go with Willow and Riku. Okay. Place card P231 in your sector. Oh, we need... Um, shield and strength. If the sum of your chosen crew member rank is three or more, progress the green track on the card by two. Okay, so we don't progress uh, because we don't have three or more crew. Our rank is three or more, we just rank two. For every chosen crew member from security or engineering section, progress the green track card on T31 by two. So we go one, two. Because we have... We have one security guy. For every chosen crew member who has shield or gear converter on their card, progress the green track by two. Uh, we've got um, a wrench, one, two. I don't know why I said gear. Okay. All right. Has the marker on the green track reached the outcome? No. Your chosen crew members failed to reach the objective and died. What? You must send another team to finish the work. Oh my gosh. That that's it. Like just that's it. Two died uh, immediately. Okay, so so we should be able to send one more security guy in to finish this job or engineering. We have two engineering and two security. I think I'm gonna do a security. So we're gonna assign one more security. Order your crew members to stop the panic and build the defenses. Okay, choose any number. Okay, so we we do the same thing again. So I'm, I'm progressing. Okay, so we're to the end. Yes. Roll three injury die for every chosen crew member. Okay. All right. If you roll either a bleeding drop or bleed, none of those, the crew member dies. Place them in the casualty slot. Makes the board, after all rolls are finished, place the surviving crew member in the resting crew. Jeez. He's resting crew. All routes to the bridge are now blocked and crewed with armed volunteers. It won't stop alligators forever, but at least the bridge is safer now. Good work, Fire Team Alpha. Now we can. Oh, great. Gain a success token. Uh, and replace the card with. P232. Okay, defensive perimeter. The main road to the bridge is now secured. When rolling any dice in the sector, you may re-roll any number of dice, including danger and injury dice once. Scavenge the main deck. Take one small equipment card from the armory and place it next to your crew board. Or we can draw one section card, and if we don't, roll a danger die. Okay. Okay. This is your captain speaking. We're now speeding away from the enemy fleet using the full throttle of our engines. Unfortunately, one of the enemy cruisers was able to catch up with us, and its missiles hit the bridge. We have many casualties, but we're still operational. Beware of sudden impacts in your area. If you have no full emergency suit, find a safe, pressurized space and stay there. Well, that's fun. 241 in Sector 8. Oh, here we go. Arrogator Cruiser. The cruiser keeps up the pace with ISS Vanguard, pounding it with missiles. 
We can roll dice and dogfight. It's a shield, a compass, or a computer. We progress. Okay, if we get any accidents, we uh, progress the red track. Card, okay, it says open the ship book to page three and check if there's card B10. If there is, progress the green track on card 241 in sector B by two. B10, yes, Vindicator Cannon, cool. So we progress it by two. Place the bombardment threat card in the designated slot above the planet board. Okay, uh oh, there's not space for it. Okay, and then uh, place optional mission card M103 next to the planet board. And, okay, here we go. And it says optional mission, the last starfighter. <laughs> the aggregator missile cruiser catches up with the vanguard and pounds us with merciless barrage. We have no ships left to counter it save for our lander. Destroy the aggregator cruiser in sector eight. To reach the cruiser, you need to clear the hangar, sector four, okay, that's the hangar, and launch a lander from there. When you fulfill the objective, you'll be asked to discard this mission. Okay. Oh, so evidently we gotta launch in a lander before we can do that. Okay. Goodness, there's a lot going on and it's all awesome. Okay, so now Betty's turn is over. So we're gonna draw an event card. All my stuff is all over the place <laughs> right now. It's all in different areas to fit it all on the board nicely in camera view. All right, here we go. We get a Violent Current. If no icons match, discard this card. Um, no icons match. So we progress all time tracks by one. So this one goes here, this one goes here, this one goes here, and we get one more on here. Yikes. Um, did we, hold on just a second. Oh, uh, but we did, uh, sorry, uh, the panic crab, remove one marker from the enemy advantage slot. We forgot to do that. So that gets removed. I, I was thinking, I was like, there's gotta be something. <laughs> Okay, so that's Betty's turn. Who's gonna go next? So it, this is gonna be super hard. Uh, med bay, or do we go to the armory? Or do we get one small equipment card from the armory? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of them that would be really good. You know, and I think I'm gonna use recon first, and there's a reason. So first action is gonna be move here. Okay, and then we're gonna, we have to spend a die to do that. We're just gonna spend the green die. Then we've got this uh, uplifting speech. Uh, before or after an action, move one crew member from your sector to a connected sector, ignoring path icons. So that, that's his first action was move. And then second action is gonna be moving, we're gonna move security over. We don't have to do the path icon. So that's awesome. Should we try to get a computer and a compass? We've got a compass and we can um, also roll a vanguard and we can re-roll one green. We can also re-roll a blue. If we don't get any of them, we draw one section or we, we roll the danger die. Maybe we should just move on for now. Yeah, so let's, let's have recon. Let's have them, both of these are log 710. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to progress this salvo. Cause that happened, that happened before the end of Betty's turn, right? Yeah, okay, so, oh, well, we're supposed to do it in sector eight. That was confusing. All right, so we're supposed to do salvo. Each crew member in this sector, so there's nobody in that sector. Okay, then place the movement in the sector one number higher. If there are no sectors with a higher number, place it in sector one. Okay, so we are in sector one. So it's gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so that's, that's gonna be the path of the bombardment. Although, it says recon, and spend one charge to turn 
one die to a chosen side. So I guess we could do this green, is that green and red or blue and red? It's hard to tell, green and red, I guess. We can re-roll a green die and we can spend a charge to make this. Let's roll it and see if we can get some small equipment. Oof, oof da. Okay, so uh, let's, um, oops, let's uh, use dodge to re-roll the green. Okay, that's a compass, good. Then we're gonna spend one charge. So spend one charge to turn one die to a chosen side, so we want a vanguard. Okay, so now we've got a compass and a computer. We can take one small equipment card from the armory and place it next to your crew board and draw a section card. So let's draw another section card first. We can catch a breath so we can reroll a red die. And let's see about what equipment we might want. So this is recon. Well, I think I'm gonna do a blue nutrient. Uh, it's not fantastic. I just couldn't find anything that was really like, oh, this is gonna be super helpful. So we're just gonna do blue nutrient. We can reroll any number of blue dice. Uh, so that's his second action. All right, that's Recon Smart's turn. So we got to draw an event card. We get Deep Fracture. Um, let's see, nothing lines up. If no icons match, discard this card. Progress all time tracks by one. Oh my gosh. Uh, so this gets progressed. This gets progressed. This gets progressed. We need to move a lot faster. This gets progressed. We do Salvo. Oh no. Each crew member in this sector uh, spins three dice or rolls a danger die C. Can gain an injury or lose one die. Then place the bombardment in the sector one number higher. Oof. Oh no, this is so bad. This is so bad because look at how many people are there. Oh man. Uh, should we roll the danger die or spend three die? I think, I think we're gonna spend three die. So uh, purple is a mirror. Let's do one, two, three. Yikes, that is not good. Then it moves one forward. Oof. And it reloads. Place bombardment in the sector one number higher. Oh, okay. Oh, good. Okay. So it reloads. So it's going to reload here and then move to three next. So maybe we should go up to seven next. <sighs> but that's Recon's turn. Uh, let's get... Let's maybe have... Let's have security... Well, Narciss go next. She'll move here, because uh, yeah, we want to avoid the bombardment and the path is going to be this way. So she's going to move uh, to travel. We have to use a blue or a red. Ugh. We're just going to go, here we go. Red, Ugh, good, okay. So she moved successfully. So that was her first action. Then her second action, or we're going to go along 710. Roll D10, check the results. Five, four to five. Uh-oh. What's going on here? Okay, I think I... Be careful, team. We're detecting a huge oxygen leak near your location. One of the cargo bays must have been damaged. Can't you just close the bulkheads around the leak? Most of the bulkheads are destroyed. Locate and repair the damage before too much oxygen vents into space. As if we didn't Engineering would have been nice. Hands. Oh, great. Um, repair the ship damage yourself and plug the leaks. Order your crew members to repair the damage. Ignore the damage and let someone else handle it. Shit. All right, I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna assign crew. Like we. Oh, dang it. Like, we <laughs> we are screwed. If we get one more time track, it's going to add two markers. 
oh, like I don't know what to do. It feels like I'm overexerting myself. So what do we know? So we're gonna, we're gonna blow these away. This is gonna launch us at the Arrogator Cruiser. These, I, I bet, will be removed and then we'll have access to those med bays. So how many more people do we assign? You know, this one probably and this one. I don't know if there's gonna be any more situations that arise. Let's assign crew members. I'm just gonna go with my gut. Okay, and I think engineering, right? I mean, engineering is gonna be the ones that, that do it. So let's do Cho and Christos. Let's just do both of them. <sighs> Damage cargo hold card in the sector. If it's not there yet, P240. Okay. Damaged cargo hold. The cargo hold is rapidly depressurizing. The supplies, materials, and oxygen are so badly need we are sucked into space. Repair the damage. Okay. If the sum of ranks in your chosen crew member is three or more, progress the green track by two. Okay, we have three or more. So one, two. Okay. For every chosen crew member from the engineering section, progress the green track by car by two. We have two engineering people, one, two. We get to the end. Good. Has the marker reached the outcome? Yes. Roll three injury die. Oh no. Oh no. If you roll either one of these, the crew member dies. Place them in the casualty slot next to the board. Oh no. Okay. Oh, so we have to do it for each chosen crew member. Oh, should I have done it for those? Oh, no, 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 I, I did it. Oh, I don't know, I don't know if I did it wrong. After all roles are finished, place surviving crew members and resting crew. Okay, so uh, Christos dies. Oh my gosh, because yeah, we get one of these and one of these or two of these. So Christos dies. Oh my gosh, then we have to do it again. Oh no, same role, Cho dies. Gosh, dang it. Oh my gosh, we are so screwed. Oh no. Oh my gosh, we, we just need to ignore us. We gain a success token and replace card with 240, a moment of calm. It says, uh, no hazards detected. And then we discard the card. Oh my gosh. Oh, we should have moved on. That was a bad move. We lost, we lost four crew members already. Oh, oh. This, this card was her was her uh, personnel file card. And I can see it go back. That's fantastic. Oh man. We are doing so bad, guys. We are doing so bad. Uh, this one was here. Yeah. No, this one was here. Goodness, a lot going on. Okay, so that was Narcissus' first action. Second action, where are we gonna go? We're gonna we're gonna have to take out all of those, right? That's the that's the mission. So let's just go. Let's go here. Okay, we roll a red or a blue. Um, what are we gonna need? We need red and blue stuff, so uh, let's roll this one. Oh, accident. Can we reroll blue? Oh, no. So we spend it, we move, and we roll a danger die. Nothing. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. We draw an event card. Impossible structure. Uh, they don't line up. No icons match, discard this card. Oh no. Okay, so let's, we go here. Add one marker to the enemy advantage slot. Discard this condition. Okay, so we add one to the slot. Discard this condition. I don't know if I've been progressing that time track. I might have forgotten it. Oops. Okay. Hold damage, uh, decompression. Hold damage causes air to vent into space with the forces of a hurricane. Each sector on the planet board additionally has the 
the turbine icon. To travel is any any die. Okay, so now this one progresses. This one progresses. And this one finishes. So I, I think I messed one up. So I think these two were here to start and this one was off. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. I think that's where we're supposed to be. So one, two, three. Yep. Reload, reset this track. We reload. This gets moved here. Okay. This one gets reset. And we add two markers. This one gets reset. We add two markers. Oh my gosh. Okay. And that's the end, right? <laughs> oh gosh. Oh gosh. Uh, all right. Uh, Amir's final. Uh, so he's going to move here. So he spins a die. Spin the blue. Second action. So he, he's going to get salvoed. I think second action, yeah, I think he's gonna have to move up. Second action is moving up. Uh, we roll any die. We don't need the DNA. We can reroll the green. Good, okay. All right, that's his second action. Draw an event card. Uh, it's a person space, okay. Overwhelming force. <clears throat> Spin one die to move to another connected sector, or roll the danger die three times, minus the number of other crew members in your sector. Cool. Let's just move to a connected sector. I mean, it seems like... Um, so I think that that replaces whatever this is, right? So, yeah, let's move to a connected sector, because that's what we want to do. And we're going to spend... Uh, the pickaxe is useless here, so we're going to spend the pickaxe. Great. That, that's perfect. I like that. <laughs> I like that. We also have to remember that the, the turbine icon is on everything. <clears throat> we are not doing well. It feels like we're not doing well at all. Uh, we are already at six, we just need four more, and that only removes one marker. <clears throat> Goodness. Well, okay. Um, let's have Amir and Recon see if we can well, that assault real quick. So we need to get strength, shield, xenology, or computer. So we have Narciss go first. So these three, and maybe this. Yeah, because that could get us to four. Let's do that. Oh man. Oh my god. How horrible of a roll was that? Oh no. Okay, well, um, so the shield is one. During one roll, uh, during the dice check, spend one charge to roll one die from your spend pool and add it to your roll pool. So let's do that. And we're gonna roll the blue computer. Oh my gosh, like seriously. Oh, and we don't have anything. If you have one or more injuries, roll one red die from your spent pool. Nothing. So we we have absolutely nothing. I mean, should we should we spend another charge? I'll spend another charge. And what are we gonna re-roll? <clears throat> Let's re-roll this red vanguard. Come on, one more. Yes, two more. One, two. Okay. Ugh, that was still horrible, but not quite as horrible as, as the start. So that was the first action. Oh, we're supposed to roll the danger die, too. Uh, three, and it is A. Uh, A, three is nothing. Good. Her second action uh, should probably be rest. Or should it be move? Let's rest. So I'm going to spend... One supply, 
We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we get five dice back. Let's do one. That's your second action. <clears throat> so now we draw an event card. We get um, wind and a person. Okay, ambush. Uh, spend one red die or roll the danger die. We're going to spend a red die. We're going to spend the strike. <clears throat> Great. At least we didn't have to progress our time track. So now, now let's have a mirror go. Maybe we rest because we need two more. I mean, I guess we could roll all three of these and then rest. At least two results in the roll pull are Vanguard's been one charge to move all the... Okay, that's enough. Let's just do this. Okay, shield and a Vanguard. So that progresses at two, and that's enough. Okay. Uh, all right, so we move one marker from the enemy advantage slot, go to 87. Discard 233 from your sector. Med bay. With the med bay secured, we have a way to take care of wounded and even push some of the patients into action. Okay, you can spend a die to heal yourself if you get a DNA or push injured into action. We need a DNA, a science, and a computer. Okay. All right, so that was his first action. And then second action is gonna be move. So we're gonna move here. We have to spend any die to do that. Oh, so maybe, actually we can't. So his second action is gonna be rest. <laughs> so he gets five dice back. One, two, so that was his second <clears throat> action, it was rest. Draw an event card, uh, oxygen leak. Is this, oh, it doesn't line up. Oh, all of them have this though. Each sector on the planet board additionally has this. So lose one supply and roll the danger die. Oh. And it's danger die C. I guess it doesn't matter. Nothing happens. Good. All right, who who next? So now, now what do we do? Uh, I think we're gonna we're gonna go move up and down. So let's have Betty go next, so Betty's gonna move here, so she spends any die. Let's spin the pickaxe. Okay, that's good. She moves, that was her first action. Second action, move here. She spends another die, we're gonna spin the pickaxe again. Get a vanguard, we're good. That's her two actions. So now, draw an event card. Uh, doesn't look like anything lines up, so we do uh, discard this card and progress all time tracks by one. So this gets here, this goes here, this goes here, and this goes here. So we salvo, and then we move to the next connected sector. So we go here. Okay. Are there no more P two thirty cards anywhere on the board? Is your crew member is now standing in the sector with a revealed log number? Is your crew member... No. Okay. Oh, I almost screwed myself again. <laughs> All right, last but not least is recon. I think we're going to do the same thing. We're going to double move. So we're going to go here. Spin to die. Uh-oh, exclamation. Can we... I'm going to catch a breath so we reroll a red die. Vanguard. Okay. <clears throat> Oh, shoot, uh, and Narcissus rested, so she gets a card, and Betty, uh, actually Amir rested, so he gets a card. Uh, second action for uh, Samarth is going to be move here, and he spends another die, spin blue, we're good. Oh, and I need to, these, I'm going to have to stop rolling on those because they keep jumping around. I almost prefer the... Oh, let's do that. Okay. Uh, that's the two actions for Samarth. 
So now we draw an event. Um, we don't have any icons. If no icons match, discard this card. Press grass all time tracks by one. Two. This gets reset. And we put two markers. We're at now seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <clears throat> this gets here. So we salvo and then move here. Great. That's just fantastic. Perfect timing. So here's my thought. <clears throat> we, we blast this and then move out of the way of that salvo. Because we're going to get... Oh, and I guess we're going to uh, reload. So that actually, that's okay. We can stay there. Let's have Betty start. She's got to get a Xenology... So let's re-roll, let's roll two green and a blue. We can re-roll a green and we can re-roll a red. Um, it doesn't matter if there's an exclamation mark, but maybe we should keep one die just in case. Yeah, let's just roll these. Let's see what we get. Okay, perfect. Two Xenology. So those are spent. We progress this time track by two, one, two. Then, should we re-roll? We can't re-roll a blue, so that just goes away. Okay, I feel that's decent. Um, let's see, Recon, they're gonna have a problem, because they only have three die that could potentially help them. I can only do this one time. Oh, we're supposed to be rolling the danger die. Uh, one, and that's A. Uh, spend a die, oof. Okay, well, that's Betty. <laughs> So that was her first action was to do that. Second action, she's just gonna have to rest. <clears throat> That's all there is to it. Draw an event card. This is just bad. Violent eruption, doesn't match, so we progress all time tracks. Oh my gosh, add one marker to the advantage slot, discard this condition. <clears throat> so we're not eight. Fantastic. Now we get a moment of calm. Oh, I mean, okay, well, Samarth's turn. Samarth is going to spend these three. We can reroll a blue. The DNA isn't gonna help us, so the only thing would be if we get a Vanguard on that, which that's not fantastic results. So let's just reroll, let's just roll all these. Try to get three. So here's a strength icon, so that progresses it by one. Then let's use our blue nutrient. We can reroll any number of blue die. There's a vanguard, so that progresses it one more. Then we can use stroke of inspiration to reroll a blue die. Oh, science, <laughs> that's not healthy. Bummer, uh, okay. Oh, here we go. During a dice check, spend one charge to turn one die to a chosen side. We're gonna do it. Um, and then this is gonna get, yeah, we, like we could do two vanguards, right? We could, we could change that to two vanguards, but there's not like a, another thing that would help us, right? Getting another success doesn't do anything. So yeah, it doesn't matter, but we're gonna do that. That gets us here. Um, and then, oh, we're supposed to, Roll a danger die. Four, um, and that's A. Uh, nothing, good. All right, so now, I'll remove one marker from the enemy. Down to six, oh, seven. We were down to seven? Oh, jeez. Uh, okay, and then go to log 87. Discard P233. Okay, we're in the armory. We've taken the armory. We can now equip ourselves better. We can get a compass and draw a section card, or a red and a green to gain one chosen equipment card from the armory. Okay. There are no more. There's still more on the board. Do you remember now standing on a sector with a revealed log number? No. Okay. So that was Samar's first action. So should we rest or should we move? Oh shoot, uh, I forgot to progress that time track. 
but we only have one action left and we're spending our last die. If we have to spend die with this, we're probably gonna be assigning crew members. Let's go. Okay, we're gonna spend our final action um, to move down here. Let's go to 710, so we need to move. Oh yeah, we need a compass or a computer. Oh no, so maybe not. Oh, okay. Oh, if we don't get one. Okay, sorry, I read that wrong. I was gonna say, if we get a computer, yeah, let's go. Oh, we got a Vanguard. Oh, sweet, so we move here, get a Vanguard. So we refresh two dice, perfect. So we're gonna refresh this one and this one. And then we move to a connected sector. If we don't get those, we just move to a connected sector. Awesome. Cool. So now we go 710. Roll a d10. Oh no, that's a 1. After action report, 7, 5, D. The shortest route to our destination led through the torpor chambers, a long section of the ship filled with small pods where the remaining 5,000 Vanguard's crew members drowned, submerged in a quiet, drug-induced slumber. Arrogator-heavy infantry was there, in their bulbous, heavy suits, their thick mechanical arms ripping the pods apart. It was the first time I'd seen them up close. They moved in methodical, machine-like fashion. I immediately began to doubt whether these were living creatures or just another type of automated war machine this aggressive race hides behind. Oh my god. The human victims who survived being ripped out of their chambers shivered on the ground, dying from the shock of sudden awakening. We had to do something. Oh my gosh. So we have security and recon. I'm guessing it's going to be strength. It's probably going to be the same thing, right? It's going to be... If it's specific roles, then we progress it by two. So if we do one security, we we'll progress it by two. I think it was like four total. Three total, maybe. If we have a recon person, that might help. And I think we need three total, three ranks to progress it by two. We're gonna burn through all of our all of our available crew. Oh my gosh. Yeah, let's go. We're gonna do those three. Order your crew to protect the AirPods. Okay, then I die. I know. Okay, so place card 238, Torpor Chambers. These poor souls have no chance to defend themselves. Okay. <sighs> Oh no, if the sum of your chosen crew members is rank, ranks is two or more, progress the time track by two. Okay. And two, for every chosen crew member from security, we have one, progress by two. Now we needed strength, shield, or, or DNA. I was completely off, but we did it. Yes. Okay, roll three injury dive for every chosen crew member. All right, land first. Nothing, he's good, so he goes in the resting crew. Camille, good, resting crew. Natalia. Natalia's dead, we lost Natalia. Gosh dang it. Uh, gain a success token. Okay, and then replace it with 002. Moment of calm. Uh, okay. Boy, that was a big sacrifice. All we have is science left. Oh my gosh, and we've lost one, two, three, four, five crew members. Oh my gosh. And that was uh, some Arth's turn, right? <laughs> uh, so now, now we have to draw an event card. Uh, 
nothing matches. Dang it. So we progress this time track. We progress. Is this time track reset? I think it was. Oh, I don't really know. Oof. Okay. Reload. Okay. Reset. This gets progressed. And this gets progressed. I think we should get um, Amir and Narciss out of the salvo. Well, let's have Amir go first. So Amir's first action is going to be move. He's going to move here. So we just roll a die. Any die. We get two. Gosh dang it. Uh, we get two vanguards. We refresh two die. And then move to connected sector. We're good. Let's go armory. We're going to go here. Yeah. Because this is going to go this way, I guess. But I guess it doesn't matter. We'll go to armory for our second action. So we spend a die. Uh, we're looking for... Let's do the vanguard again. Okay, well, we get exclamation mark, but that's okay. That just means we move to a connected sector. Or should we re-roll that die? Let's re-roll the die. Applied knowledge. Same thing. Okay, well, that sucks. Okay, <clears throat> now what? That's his second action. Let's move there. So now we draw an event card. Please have something line up. Please. Leaf. No. So this gets progressed. This gets progressed. This gets reset, and we do salvo. This gets, goes here, and we discard this card. Oh, no. And then this gets progressed. <clears throat> so we're going to have to go, we're going to have to resolve that to get Narciss out. There's no connection anywhere else. We have to go back through there. All right, so we sell those. So Narciss has to lose three die or roll the danger C die. Um, let's lose three die. And then it moves here. That's going to suck. Boy, this is not looking fantastic at this point. And now it's Narcissus' turn. So our first action is going to be move. She just moves. Okay, then we go to log 710 again. Okay, roll a d10. Sounds so important. Oh, I mean, science would be maybe good. We'd be using the last of our available crew, and we'd have to resolve because if this one progresses one more, then we'll have to resolve another one. We're gonna lose discoveries. We're gonna have to ignore the archives and let someone else handle it. Discard three random discoveries from gathered discoveries, then add one marker to the enemy enemy hatch slot. Oh no. Okay. All right, so here's our stuff. Here's our gathered discoveries. I'm just gonna look away, look away, and then get one, two, three. Okay. <clears throat> Second action is gonna Let's move here. So she spins one die. Get exclamation mark. That's okay. No actions left. Event card. Gosh dang it, please. Um, nothing. No icons match. 
discard this card. So two, four, six, eight, we're at nine. Discard this condition. Uh, so let's let's progress this real quick. One goes here. No, eight now. Okay. Um, this one goes here. So this gets removed. And then this goes here. That's all the time tracks, right? And then we go to log 312. Shuffle all G11 cards. Okay, so we just reshuffle the G11 cards again. So we're gonna get, oh, thank goodness, a moment of calm again. Fireteam Alpha, do you copy? This is the bridge. We're sort of busy right now. The irrigator dropship blasted through the hole next to the main concourse. It brought more heavy infantry and some kind of a war machine. Oh no. It's breaching the perimeter around the bridge. Move it to engage, Fireteam Alpha. And this was Narcissus's turn. Place card 233. Place the Irrigator War Swarm threat card. And it says place the Irrigator War Swarm and all three drone standees in Sector 2. Okay, so we get these guys. The Irrigator War Swarm. Look at that. That's so sweet. And then three drones. In sector two. We have 231 panic crowd cars in sector two. Place a time token in the first slot of the irrigator war swarm time track and resolve the swarm effect. Okay, so it's not. Great. So what does this war swarm do? As we can fight the war swarm, we get an exclamation mark, we lose a die. If we get a science or computer, we do the yellow track. Oh, we reset the track, okay. If we do a red and two blue or a strength plus a shield, we progress the green track. Oh, it just looks bad. It looks bad. Boy, I keep getting distracted. This is like kid disturbing day, I guess. And this is like the most stressful <laughs> planetary exploration I've had. Ah. <sighs> Okay, well, new round, and we are going to get hosed. So, so all these guys are in the armory, right? Yes, we've got all of this to take care of now. And we are at nine. Like, I think we're going to fail this, and I don't know what happens if we fail it, which is so bad. Um, okay, well, I guess there's nothing to do but go forward. Um, so, to defeat the War Swarm, we have to... It's going to be Strength and Shield, or a Red and Two Blue. So, Betty would be good. Uh, Samarth would be good. So, maybe we'll have Samarth go up there now. Let's see what happens. What happens with Swarm? Place one drone in each sector with a crew member. If there are more sectors than drones, choose the lowest numbered sectors. Place remaining drones in a sector with an irrigated war swarm. Each crew member in a sector with at least one drone loses a green or blue or rolls a danger die. Eradicator blast. Each crew member in the sector with an irrigated war swarm gains a wounded injury. Okay. So. So it doesn't really matter where we're at. We need a science and a computer to, to combat the swarms. But maybe it's better to attack the, the beast. It spawns aggressive drones. So maybe killing that will kill the drones too. I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, I think we're gonna have to do that. So. We're going to start out with Samarth. Samarth is going to spend a die. We won't even be able to attack, though, is the problem. 
We're gonna have to rest and then move. So let's go here. We have to, if we get a compass or a computer, we refresh two die. So let's roll this, we get a compass. So we refresh two die and we need red and two blue. So let's do a red. And then blue. Yeah, because that will give us a chance for the science icon. Okay. Uh, and then we can, I guess we can attack, right? We can do these two. Yeah. Oh, if we do a strength plus a shield, we need. So what, maybe we should try to get a science or a computer. So let's do these two. There's no, oh, dang it. Um, oh, we just lose, we just do, don't do it. So that was two actions. Ugh. Draw an event. <clears throat> We don't match any icons. So now we progress this time track. We progress this time track, so it reloads. And then reload means, okay, and then increase by one sector. So we're placing the sector one now. Okay, this gets progressed, so we swarm. Place one drone in each sector with a crew member. So one here, one here, and then the rest stay with the main thing. One drone in each sector with a crew member. If there are more sectors than drones, choose the lowest number sector. Please rem place remaining drones in sectors with the irrigator or swarm. Okay. Oh, so nothing happens right now. So they just move around. Okay. Then they're gonna drone is next. Each Crew member in a sector with at least one drone loses a green or a blue, or spends a green or a blue and rolls the nature. Okay. All right, so that's his turn. A mirror maybe next? Let's have a mirror go next. And he's gonna move here. Yeah, I think we wanna move there. I have to go to log 710. Um, but first we need to, um, Roll a die. So we get that. So we don't get a computer or a compass, so we just move to connect the sector. Roll a 10. Come on, a 10 or something, please. Seven. Hurricanes are trying to storm the bridge. Place card 233 on top of, the, of any cards in sector one. Okay, I did that. That's already done. Okay, good. I guess nothing happens. Oh, but that means each time we go here, like that just sucks. Um, and then his second, that's his first action. And then his second action is gonna be um, to move up here. Yeah, I think so. So we spend another die. Pickaxe, nothing happens. Okay, so then draw another event card. Nothing lines up, so this gets progressed. This gets progressed. We increase this by two. This gets progressed. We salvo and we move to the next sector. This gets progressed. So we drones. Each crew member is sector with, a dr with at least one drone loses a blue or a green so he loses a green um pink loses a blue or a green oh no uh, so pink is gonna roll the danger die um, and it's danger i and two is gain a wounded injury fantastic then blue oh no so she's gonna lose a blue. Let's use this one. And then Narciss has to roll the danger die. Three. We lose two die. 
Oh no. Or we spend two die. So we're gonna have to exert. So we're gonna lose, let's lose this die. So that's exert, and then we have to lose two. So we're gonna lose this one and this one. Spend two. Okay. All right. So that's that part is resolved. The swarm part. But now we are here. There are ten or more markers on the slot. One forty-seven. This does not. I don't. I don't. This does not bode well at all. We aren't even close. Oh my gosh. You have failed, and Vanguard was nearly overrun. The crew of the ship managed to buy some more time but at an enormous cost. Oh my gosh, we just failed. Oh my gosh. Lower the morale in the bridge card holder, unless it's already, so we have more medium, so now we're at low. Remove two markers from the enemy advantage slot. Oh no. Uh, so we were at nine, so we went to 11, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Okay. Remove two markers from the innovative advantage slot. Roll three injury die for every available crew member. I think that's these guys. Okay. Oh no, so Theo, okay, Theo's okay. Okay, so it looks like he just goes back and available crew. Oh man, why do I always roll that? Ugh, so Avery dies. Ugh, and then Gong. Oh no. After all rolls are finished, continue the day. Proceed. Okay. So we're at nine now. Uh, wow, good thing I didn't start cleaning up. Oh my gosh, this is so bad. This is so bad. Um, great. That's fantastic. We're gonna kick it off yet again. Oh my gosh, this is so bad. Uh, okay, well, that's great. Um, so that was Amir's turn. Now it's Narcissus' turn. I mean, should we send two this way, split up? I think we're gonna have to at this point. So yeah, Narcissus is gonna move here. So she's gonna spin the die. Let's do this. Okay, so Mation Mark. So nothing happens, we just move to a connected sector. And we have to go to lock 710. D10, six. After action report, five, five. On our way, we passed by the ship's brig. At the time, there were a couple of known troublemakers in the cells, including one mutineer who shot an officer. They were banging on the doors, asking us to let them out. They promised to join the fight. I knew the captain or the security section leader wouldn't like that, and that many of these people would use this opportunity to run. However, keeping them locked in this hell seemed inhumane. All right, let them out. Move one marker from the enemy advantage slot. Okay. Lower the morale on the bridge card holder. Unless it's already very low. <laughs> well, it wasn't very low before, but now it is. So we get plus one situation. We don't have to lower it any further, I guess. Okay. All right, so now we're down to two, four, six, eight. Okay. And then uh, her second action is going to be move again to get here. It's her first action, second action, so we spend one more die. 
do this. Nothing. Okay. Uh, so we just moved to check the sector. Um, and then here we are. Okay. So now draw an event card. Get screwed again. Um, no. Yes. Bombardment. Place this card in the sector. While well, it's in your sector, you may not perform special actions. Great. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, no. And this is a special action, so we cannot do this. So we just get bombarded and have to take cover. Oh, so that's going to be one, two, three rounds. Oh, my gosh. This is so bad. This is so bad. So I guess Betty's going to go up that way because there's nothing else we can do. So Betty's first move is going to be here. We have to go to 710 yet again. Roll a d10. One. After action report, five, four. The corridor we entered was empty, apart from a couple of unarmored, lightly armed, blood-covered bodies. As we were walking past them, one of these poor souls extended their shaking hand in our direction. It was Nagy, the Capcom officer from the bridge, oh. well-liked by the away teams. And now, she was trembling like a child. <laughs> oh no. Should we stay and comfort her or should we move on? Oh, Betty is so needed. Boy, this is hard, guys. Let's stay. Spin one die. Spin this one. Oh, there's no positive to that. Oh. Okay, and then second action. I'm gonna move up here. Uh, so we have to spend a die. A blue die, so. All right, we get a vanguard. So we refresh two die. Cool. Um, so let's refresh. We need a red and two blue. So we got so we can get. Let's do this and this. All right. Uh, her turn is over. Draw an event card. Um, nothing matches, so we progress. This gets progressed. Add one to the advantage, so we're now at nine. Discard this condition. Back on. Decompression. Whole damage causes air to vent into space with the force of a hurricane. Each sector in the planet board additionally has the turbine icon. Okay, so then this gets progressed. This gets progressed. Um, this gets progressed. This progress. Uh, this gets progressed. Salvo. Any each crew member in the sector with the with the bombardment lose uh, spends three die or rolls the danger die. So Betty has to spend three die. Um, I think she's going to roll the danger die. C one. Uh, spend a die, so we spend this green die. Pink. Recon, we're going to have to roll the danger die. Two. Nothing. Good. And then Amir is going to have to roll the danger die. Two. C. Nothing. Right? We're at C. I think that's right. Okay. And then we progress. We go to three. Okay. Then this goes to Drone. Oh no. 
We did drones, right? Yeah. So now Eradication Blast. Each crew member in the sector with the Irrigator Warswarm gains the wounded injury. Then each crew member in a sector with at least one drone. Oh, no, okay, so everybody gains the wounded injury. So Betty gains the wounded injury. So she gets a wounded die. I'll figure out where to put it here in a minute. I think I'm gonna put it here. Um, Amir gains the wounded injury. He gets a wounded die, and we're gonna put it here. Narcissus gains the does not gain the wounded injury, but Samarth does, so he knows he's at two wounds. And he's gonna get this die. Okay, and then 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 each crew member in a sector with at least one drone. So Narcissus is good, but everybody else loses or spends green or blue or rolls the danger die. I think Betty's gonna have to roll the danger die. One, and it's danger die C again. So we spend one die. Dang it, we needed, we needed all of those. Ugh. So I guess we spend this one. Amir is just gonna spend a blue. Okay, Narciss is good, and then Recon can't spend so he's gonna roll the danger die three for C. Gain the exhausted injury. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. He's at three injuries now. We need, yeah, okay. We are getting our butts handed to us. That is the end of the round. Let's have Betty go. She's gonna use her first action to rest. Two, four, six, eight, ten die, so she's gonna get five back. We need a red and two blue, so let's do, okay, that's her first action. We reduce our supplies by one. She gets a section card. So we can reroll one die. Then our second action is gonna be we're gonna attack the irrigator. So red and two blue. Red. Doesn't really matter. Two blue. One, two. And if we get a science or a computer, we can hack the drone. So maybe we should do another that. Oh, we have to roll the death die. Yeah, let's roll it right here. Okay. So, first off, this doesn't catch anything. Um, we can do this. Hmm. So, we need to spend a red and two blue to progress the green track. I wonder, can we... Let's use Respite to reroll this one. Ooh, we get a Vanguard, good. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use the red and two green, or two blue, to progress that track. And then we're gonna spend this Vanguard as a, as a science, and we're gonna progress that track. Okay, so that was her second action. Now draw an event card. Nothing lines up. This progresses. This progresses. This progresses. This progresses. This progresses. It reloads. Goes to the next sector. This one. Reset this track. So it goes here. How about this? Narcissus will go first. She'll spend one action to rest. We'll get one. Her second action, she'll just hang out, I guess. No hazard, oh my gosh, nothing happens, oh gosh. <laughs> We're making good progress, it says. We aren't, we aren't. So Amir's gonna rest. We need a red and 
red and two blues, we get five dice back. So one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, if we had one more blue die, we could we could double roll. Hmm. So that's his first action is rest. Second action. So let's do this. And we can reroll a blue. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, we have to do the wounded die. Uh, okay, so we lose a die from our wounded condition, or spend a die from our wounded condition. Um, there's a science there, so there's a red and two blue. So that's that. So that progresses this one. And then this one is a science icon. I don't know if this is on, on screen or not, but oh well. So we, now we can hack the drone and then reset this track. Okay, so hack the drone, remove one drone from the planet board. Uh, I don't think it matters. Let's just remove this one. Okay, so that's his final action. Rent card. Nothing lines up. You may lose a die and roll the danger die to gain two supplies. Ooh. Yes, let's do that. So we're gonna roll the danger die. Um, it's C. Ugh, gain the exhausted injury. Oh man. <laughs> oh man. Uh, and um, what else did we have to do? Oh, we didn't spend a die. Let's spend this one. Gain two supplies. That did not seem worth it at all. Okay, well, at least nothing progressed time track wise. So now we just have Samarth. So Samarth is going to have to rest. Uh, red and two blue. That's one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Do three blue and a red. He's going to, for a second action, going to attack the war swarm. Oh, you know what? Uh, we could do a red. So that would be red and two blue, red and one blue, and then we can have another assist. We can have Betty assist, right? So that would be another blue. Yes, let's do that. Yeah, I mean, it does, and it doesn't matter really what we get. Unless we get like two vanguards. Okay, and then this the vanguard. Okay, yeah. So a red and two blue. Progresses this track by one. A red and two blue. Um, oh shoot. Okay. Oh shoot, and I needed to roll the injury die. This is gonna progress to the here, but um, let's see. So no single, oh, this drop, okay, radiation, that means nothing, but this one is, oh, and I, I think he's rested at least once, shouldn't he have done a section card, but this one means we lose a die. So we lose a die from our exhausted, so we're going to lose this blue die, no, nope, we're going to lose uh, this green die. Fantastic, but we get this. Uh, let's go to 813. After action report, a surprise encounter with another type of irrigator construct almost spelled doom for our mission. This variant was a heavily specialized independent platform capable of carrying, building, and repairing vast numbers of drones. If the irrigators were capable of maintaining this type of military equipment, who can guess how they will surprise us next time? Okay. Gain a success token. I don't feel very successful. Two alien tech leads. Whoopity doo. One, two. Okay. Uh, remove the irrigator warstorm threat card. Good. It's drones and standees from the board. Oh, good. So the drones go away. Good. Okay. Uh, research project arts in uh, this one. Irrigator tech. 
my USB waiting envelope. Goodness. Uh, okay, that's his final action. So we draw an event card now. Okay, there's no matching icons. Discard this card, progress all time section by one. So this gets progressed. This gets progressed and goes away. <clears throat> this gets progressed. And that one, this one gets compressed. So we salvo. So she's gonna loot or spend three dice. We're gonna go one, two, and then it moves here. Right? Yeah, okay. This gets progressed. Um, okay. Fantastic. Next round. Let's have Narciss go first. And she is going to try to kill, kill this stuff. Um, I think she's going to rest. Uh, we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we get four and a half, five. So we get all five dice back. Actually, would it help us at all? Kind of. So should we just roll all of them? I think so. There's no, we gotta roll the danger die. Let's see if she can handle it by herself. Do it. Danger die is nothing. All right, so there's a shield. So that's progressed by one. There's a strength, progressed by one. Um, there's a computer, progressed by one. Um, then we're gonna use dodge to reroll a green. Nothing. Oh, we, we rested too. Let's draw a card. Okay, we would have we would have gotten rid of this, kept that, so now we're gonna use dodge to reroll a green. Another compass, so that doesn't help us. That's it. We couldn't do it. We couldn't pull it off. With all of our die, we couldn't pull it off. Ugh. So that was for two actions. Uh, it does match, so vertigo. We spend one green or roll the danger die. We're going to have to roll the danger die. Uh, C. So two is nothing. Okay. Oh, I wish I could have pulled that off. That would have been some epic level rolling. All right, let's see if we can get this bridge assault uh, taken care of. So I think Mayor's gonna go next. So his first action, we're gonna move here. He just has to spend a die. Oh, and I think we're gonna have to rest with him. Yeah, I think so. So we're gonna rest. Then we need a uh, strength shield. Xenology, five, I guess. That's a second action, yuck. Draw an event card. Floating debris, okay. You may spin a die to roll a d10 and gain three leads of the following type, but we're not gonna do that. We're not worried about leads at this point. And Betty's gonna have to do the same thing, I think. I mean, Betty's gonna have to spend her first action to move your second action to rest, so that's the last supply. Okay, so now I draw an event. Trackers. It does line up. Discard one equipment card and one green die, or roll the danger die. We're just gonna discard a green, or spend a green die, and we lose an equipment but we don't have any equipment cards, so we're good. Okay, and then the last is Recon. So I guess what he can do is we're gonna move. Yeah, I wonder if he should move. Oh, uh, this is something, I've been away from, from the game uh, for a few hours. 
Uh, I forgot to do Betty's. It says each time a point of interest card is replaced in your sector, progress the track on, on your card by one. So she was here for one, two, three, four at the very least. So one, two, three, actually four. So I'm gonna go ahead and progress hers by that. Hopefully we can get her, her individual objective because we'll flip this one probably too. But uh, yeah, so anyways, uh, recon. He's gonna spend one die to move. Then he's gonna exert. So we refresh five dice. Let's do one. Okay, now, so that's his exert. So he has to lose a die. So we're gonna lose this blue one. Then, so that was his first action was just move. His second action can now uh, attempt to uh, fight the assault. So he's gonna need a danger die. And then a strength, gonna do a vanguard, vanguard. Yeah, I think the other ones aren't really gonna help us. Oh, we have to roll all of our wounded die too. Okay, here we go. Ooh, okay, so there's one. So that progresses this time track, or this track by one. These, I can't re-roll anything. So they just get spent on nothing. Uh-oh, so this one and this one mean I spend a die. So I spend two die. And then this one is part of the exhausted. It says if the dice check has no track, Oh no, we, so we do the, we do the red, tr we progress the red track. Whoa, if this is, if this is up, but there isn't any red track, so. That's all he can do, so that's his last action. Draw an event card. It does not line up, so we progress all time tracks. So this gets progressed. This gets progressed, oh no. So we're at 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Uh, this gets progressed, so we strafe, move to the highest. This progresses, <laughs> so we had two more. Oh no. Then the danger die is A. That's 2, gain the wounded injury. Uh oh. So what happens, I have to look at the rules because he's got three injuries at this point, so he would have gained another injury. Okay, here we go. So there's like a little tiny thing in the corner. A crew member with three injuries would gain a fourth injury. The away team is evacuated and planetary exploration ends immediately. So it looks like we have to evac log 876. Right? Yes, yeah, as a crew member who has three injuries would receive a fourth injury, this triggers an emergency evac. Resolve the evac log shown on the planet board. So it looks like we have to do this evac, which is 876. Great. Okay. The crew member who gained the fourth injury makes a survival check. Roll three injury die. If you get one of these and and one of these or two of these, your survival check has failed. Place this crew member in the casualty slot, then turn immediately ends. Then draw no event cards. The player controlling this crew member may pick another available or resting crew member from the same section and place them on the crew board. If they do, they also refresh all dice. Discard all injury cards, shuffle all discarded section cards. Okay, so we, we succeeded, so we don't die. <laughs> uh, are no crew members left on the crew board? No. Nor the fourth injury card and die and continue the game. Okay, <laughs> fantastic, that's great. Let's 
that. Oh shoot, I forgot. Um, so we have to actually do 147 again because we got in the advantage. You failed to repel the invaders from ISS Vanguard. As a result, the ship suffered catastrophic damage. Many crew members were killed. Discard M102 mission card. If it's revealed, place the mission failed token on the table. Oh my gosh. Place the mission failed token on the table. Return all mission cards from found discoveries to the discovery decks. Open the ship book to page 19, hangar card holder, and flip all lander cards to damage side, except for the base lander. All right, so we flip all of our lander cards to damage besides the space ranger. Okay, so that's done. We didn't have the mission M102 card. Boy, we epic failed this. Evidently, this is really bad. Okay, flip all landing cards to the damage side. Okay. After action report, seven, six. Yes, I was close to the core when that happened. Me and my buddies were one of the last to arrive. When we came to the core, the place was almost entirely overrun with just a couple fire teams barely holding the immediate vicinity of the generator. We literally sprinted through the irrigators, fired at from all the sides, to take positions around the core. That's when we saw Captain Wayman. He was half sitting with his back against the core, a gaping hole in his chest. I think he'd noticed us coming and smiled. I really think so. Maybe he thought it was some larger force coming to the rescue? But there were only six of us, and we soon took losses. The enemy pushed from all the sides, outflanking our cover, forcing us to abandon it piece by piece. Soon we had literally nowhere to go. I thought ISS Vanguard was lost. I really did. Then something came from behind us, its tentacles brushing against my shoulders. I don't know if it walked or flew. It barely touched the ground. The irrigators seemed shocked, but they fired again. These new creatures responded with strange weapons that spewed various corrosive compounds. I couldn't understand where they came from. Then I turned back to the core, just as one of them emerged from the blinding light of Vanguard's core. As if it Whoa. were some kind of portal. More came in from behind, and I swear that for a minute, I glimpsed some other place with red pulsating walls somewhere beyond the core. But what struck me most was the symbol emblazoned on the creature's rounded armor plates. The same symbol found on the alien ship that became the foundation of ISS Vanguard, one later repurposed as the Vanguard Initiative logo. It was the same symbol on my badge and dog tags. That's when I knew. The old owners of the Corps decided to step in. We didn't want them to take the brunt of the fighting. We regrouped and pushed forward with our new allies. Whoa. Wow, that's cool. That's not what I expected. Is mission card M102 still revealed? No. Dr. Corey's personal diary. Entry 213. We've won, but there was no cheering. When the smoke cleared, we began to tally our losses. Reality began to sink in. We've lost many good friends and co-workers. Comp Camp Officer Nahi and my dear friend, SAR Pilot Marquez. Captain Wayman was critically wounded and, judging from the looks I've seen on the faces of our trauma team, was not long for this world. We were left grieving on a limping, damaged ship, unable to return home and unable to reach any place other than a couple of nearby systems. Many, including me, feared this was the end of ISS Vanguard and its mission. This is bad. <laughs> this is so bad. You have completed the mission. Gain unique discovery 11. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, I guess. We get visitor tentacle. When unloaded, go to log 746. Okay. Count the number of markers in the any advantage slot. 
add two points for each crew member's card in the casualty slot. Okay, hold on. Count the number of markers in the advantage slot. A lot. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, so since minus 16 or more, no crew members rank up. Minus five to minus 15, all rank one crew members who played this exploration rank up. Section had no crew members in this exploration. Okay. Four or fewer, all rank one and rank two crew members who played this exploration rank up. Cool, okay, so nobody ranks up. Oh. Okay, it says return any P001 and P00 cards. Remove all mission cards, global condition cards, and POI cards left on the planet board from the game. Take all crew member cards from the casualty slot, place the crew members anywhere on the crew boards or this section, even if the team did not partake in the mission, and remove their rank sleeves. Take all crew member cards from the section slots below the planet board and move them to resting crew. So he goes into resting. Place 005 objective limping on in the awaiting envelope. There's, there it is, limping on. Shuffle S15 slip situation generator mouse function from future situations to possible situations. S15, okay, generator malfunction. Open the ship book on at page four, bridge, travel, card holder, and move the B01 bridge upgrade, reinforce hold back to the bridge upgrades. Okay, so that gets removed back to bridge upgrades. Oh no, then replace the current tech level card on page three with tech level zero. Here, this might help if I set this down. We're doing so good. Remove all success tokens, command tokens, energy tokens from the token bag at the appropriate pools next to the ship book. Open the ship book at page 25 and begin ship management. Um, I don't think so when did we trigger this in the star map section so we had i think we had zero energy left but two command tokens if i remember right or do we have three command tokens we have three command tokens open the ship book at page 25 leaving the planet yep clean up components then we we're docking uh so we mission failed so Oh, here we go. Is there anything else? That's it. Wow, we got our butts royally, royally handy to us on this one. Like it was, it was bad. Like we did not do well at all. Oh my gosh. And, and we might lose some Arth because he's critically wounded. Amir has two wounds. We are in bad, bad shape. Um, but Let's see where we can go from here. Well, there you have it, guys. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, this was quite quite the episode for sure. Uh, let's see what happens next episode during the ship phase. Uh, thanks again. Well, let's see you next time.